here I'm working on a 6.0 uh, power stroke. This is a 05, so this should be similar to like, I think it's 03 to 06 if I remember correctly. Um, not too big on diesels, but trying to get into it. Um, so right here we have a oil filter. Um, this would be called the return pipe. Um, so obviously, as you can see, this guy broke. So whoever put it on that filter, push on it too hard you can kind of see it how it collapsed oil filter doesn't have that many miles on it and then they were kind of having little oil pressure issues um they just got the oil filter done and then from there um had a little quick oil change spot you have to use the oem motorcraft filter um because there's these little notches that are in here and that goes in there so this unit's destroyed and i'm going to be showing you in this video how to replace this unit so first things first what you're going to go ahead and do you're going to need a 36 millimeter socket um, so right here you can rent you can actually rent this socket or you can use an adjustable wrench um, you can get these guys at autozone so any 36 millimeter will work there's the part number um, those are usually cv axle sockets so you loosen that up that will sit right up here so just like right here just so you see oh man a huge mess right now clean that up so it'll sit just like that you'll loosen it up and so if your filter is tall enough it should be getting compressed um if it's not getting compressed and you don't have the right size filter you can always just make sure you get the oem one it's i mean it's worth the extra couple bucks so we'll set that aside um let me clean up this area real quick so um, to do this job, you're gonna pretty much need a T27. It's a little star bit. Um, make sure it's a solid one and not a security bit one. So right there. So I got about nine inches on this extension apart from this guy. So it's just a little bit tall. All right, so coming right on up, there's gonna be like two screws. Um, one of them is the one that we're only gonna be worried about. So right here, the one that's closest to the turbo, we're gonna worry about this one right here. Um, so if you can see in that, it's kind of hard to see, but we don't wanna worry about the one right here on the kind of like little six o'clock or uh, seven o'clock. We wanna worry about the little 12 o'clock. So we're actually gonna go ahead and replace that one or take out that little screw and that's a T27. Also, make sure you have a magnet just to pick up the screw, and it's going to be lefty loosey. So, go ahead and get your magnet and just place it over right under there, and then that's the screw. I'll show you that screw right now. Use your little kit when you do buy that, should come with a new screw. So it should be the size of a quarter. And as for this guy, this guy should be lefty loosey. So we're gonna spin it. Should be spin about a quarter of a turn and then you should be able to pop it right out. And then Go ahead and just kind of shake this off, make sure we don't spill anything. All right, so here is a little piece and you can see still deteriorating. And then we have our new one. So you can see how much complete that is compared to the other one. So probably the previous mechanic broke it and they probably noticed it, but whatever. Um, in your kit, you should get a seal and a new screw. Uh, we got this from Dorman, not a really big fan of Dorman, but this is what we can get for right now at this time of the moment, so it's pretty crucial. If I have any issues with it right away, we're gonna go ahead and turn it off and then get a replacement. The customer's just gonna have to wait. I already talked with the customer on this, um, so they already proved it. So, um, also, let's go ahead and get that seal. The seal is gonna be right here. Um, in the center on the outer ring of that. Felt a little spring. All right, so 
but apparently, we gotta get a pick. So you're gonna have to get a pick up in there, and then we can pop that guy out. All right, so here's a little better angle. So here's not this little piece, here's the little outer ring right here, or a middle ring. So we're just gonna go ahead and get our pick. We're just gonna pick at it and then kind of pull it away. All right, cool, so we got that popped out. All right, so let's go ahead and put this guy right in there. All right, so we got that guy in there. All right, so right here, this little piece with the notch, we're gonna have it a little bit past, and then we're just gonna go ahead and push down. Get my hand up in there with the camera. All right, cool. So we got a little spin going on. So I'm gonna use my right hand. All right. So we're almost there. This is why I hate doorman products. With the dealer one should slide right up in there pretty easy. So I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it back and forth. We're gonna push down a little bit more. So I'm not spinning this, by the way, I'm spinning the axle inside shaft, so it's just a little bit hard. So let's get a little bit more. I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen it right up. Let's get this whole thing full of, just gonna lube it up with some oil. Normally these guys should slide right in. All right, so let's go ahead and try this again. All right, cool. So we're set in there. So I'll just lube it up with some oil. That should probably make it a lot more easier. We're gonna get our magnet and just drop in our screw. So we'll just drop in our screw just like that. I'm trying to start a little threads and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide off the magnet and then I'm gonna go ahead and thread this in by hand should go in nice and smooth this one's just kind of it's like a little tight rough fit but should go in pretty smooth all right so now I got a couple threads on so I'm gonna use the, the ratchet Now this torque says 11 foot-pounds. To me, I think that's a lot. That's why they recommend you to replace that bolt. So for the oil filter housing return bolt, um, the one that we just tied in, it's 20 inch pounds. So right here, here's a little diagram. So if you guys wanna see that. So pause that. So if you're gonna reinstall it, it's 27 inches. And I believe if you're gonna use like a new bolt, um, it's 44. I don't know what the other one is for 11 foot pounds. I think that's like way too much overkill on that. But 20, 20 inch pound, 27 inch pounds seems pretty ideal. Um, oil filter housing bolts. I mean, probably the ones around it, but I mean, I, I would say this one snug it in, but 27 inch or 47 inches seem pretty ideal on that. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off our oil filter. Now this guy should pop right out. All right, so next thing, we're gonna go ahead and get our little you can either pinch it with your two fingers and just slide it right up, or you can use a pick. 
Get your new oil filter O-ring. And then make sure your O-ring is not spun like how mine was earlier. So just kind of run your fingernail, get some oil on that. And on this for this guy, we're going to go ahead and get that right in. So you see how much smoother that feels. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put in our oil filter. Now, this guy should seat right in. All right, so once should fit pretty smoothly on the actual oil filter. Got a little spring load going on. And then this should be torqued down to about 18 foot pounds. And well, that's pretty much it for that. Um, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.